An LAPD officer told me he counted 30 tents with people living inside them today here on the beach. Take a look now. They're all gone. It's really awesome that they're finally starting to do something. Of course. I mean, I think it's past due. Nothing but beachgoers on the beach after LAPD cracked down on homeless who were making their home on the beach. It, it remains a, a third world kind of environment um, on the commercial strip. He is with a Venice group that encourages the crackdown on the homeless. They're living here, and I didn't think that was, you know, legal. This is federally funded public property. You know, we have a right to be here. Actually, they don't. And fear of the homeless, the mounds of trash, the needles, is keeping many from coming to this world-famous beach. I think it's out of control. I think something definitely needs to be done about it. The Esparza family would agree. They enjoy coming here from Van Nuys to get away from being homebound due to concerns about coronavirus. But getting from their car to the beach is their least favorite part of the journey. I just come here. I will not walk the boardwalk or anything like that because it's nasty and it's getting worse. But the cleanup has begun. Phoenix is from New York. Says she's going back as soon as she can, but right now she and Jesse live here. You gotta watch your back, really. She's aware police are moving those living here out of here. Yes, they're pushing people away from the water. People who live here would love this to be a safe, family-friendly environment here at Venice Beach. Actually getting it to the point that it feels as safe as Santa Monica, um, I'd love that to happen, but I, I, I don't see the will on the part of the council office, the mayor. That LAPD officer told me they started the crackdown here on the beach, then they'll move to the grassy area, and then the boardwalk. In Venice, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News.